welcome or welcome back to my channel and the next installment of I have a problem and I can't stop buying planner things <laughs> so I just have a really really small order from planner goddess studio just a few custom scripts because she does clear custom scripts and she has um, lots of fonts so I just love to pick some up from her they're always beautiful she always puts in my orders these really cute notes as well and I do save all of them I have a folder where I save all these notes from store owners um, and this is my freebie so I do PR for Planner Goddess Studio so if you use code Erin10 you'll receive 10% off and this freebie so I just picked things that I would use that really um, resonate with me. So this to me looks like a little breakfast and I love going out for breakfast. And then I have actually two sheets of these laundry stickers and I use them to death. And then this laptop, which um, I study. I'm a university student. So I am constantly going through about a million laptop stickers. And then I thought this was so beautiful. This isn't in her shop, but it's like the Instagram thing and it's got some florals. It's so like pastel and pretty. And then I can't remember the name of this character, but she's got an owl character with a coffee cup and then a nap script because I am the nap queen. <laughs> so that is that freebie. And then I did also just get her... Um, Regular freebie, uh, so this would have been July, I think. Yeah, so she does tiered freebies as well. So if you spend, I think it's 25 and then 50 and then 75, you get some extra freebies. But I just made a small order, so I just got that one. So I picked up these scripts and they say film and they're in her like dainty... Um, Cursive font and you as well get to pick with these the size you want them and you get tons on the sheet. I picked them to be quite small in case like I've got lots of things on one day. So these will be mostly in my memory planner but if there's tons of things on one day and I want to use it in like a little thing or a quarter box. So I got film, edit, same idea. I love this style of E. <laughs> my name's Erin and I think you... Yeah, you'll see it on here too. I love this style of like capital cursive E. I, I don't know. It's just, I love it. So <laughs> this is edit. And then I did get upload as well. And you get tons on a sheet. And then this is a restock that I got just in a slightly different way. This is Insta post. And these ones are a lot smaller. So again, I will be able to use them in a smaller space. Um... Like in a, in a little thing. I think these would be little thing size. So that's really useful for me. And I also got Happy Mail. Same idea. This is a slightly different font. It's the same font as the nap script that you'll get on my sampler. And I do see this peeking out here. I had to do a last minute change of course from... I think I changed from math... 2001 to math 2100 because I need to take a couple of subjects in summer semester and this one is not offered in summer but the other one is so all my other um subject code scripts are from honeysuckle maid she's called now but she doesn't offer them anymore so I picked up these from Vicky which are good I might have to go back and pick up the other ones so they match Maybe not. I'm hoping that this will be enough for one semester and I might even be able to like de-stash to another student, the other ones, but I'll see how that goes. And then I picked up these YouTube play buttons and they're in like a watercolour, a muted watercolour, which is really pretty. It's a little bit um, more toned down so it'll be able to blend into more spreads even though it is red, which does clash with a lot of... Like, it can clash with a lot of colours, especially if it's, like, a bright red. So, I really like those. Oh, because I want to start marking in my sidebar just my, like, Instagram and YouTube 
subscribers slash followers. And then last thing, I picked up three of these. These are her, like, food doodles. Um, oh, I just hit my tripod. Sorry about that. And, like, I want to use these for when I, like, eat specific foods. So you can see here you've got, like, a hot dog, a sandwich, a, like, a loaded burger, some chicken, some snacks. So, like, I bought three of them because I thought I would definitely go through the things like the chips, the pizza, the burger really quick. Um, the drinks, maybe not so much. Um, but she only offered them as samplers, so I picked three of them up. I will say I probably will not use the chicken or, like, the sausages at all. I am vegetarian, so maybe I would use that if we went to, like, Korean barbecue or something. Yeah, so that's that. So that is all I have from Vicky at Planet Goddess Studio at the moment. Um, I have already placed another order just for her mystery kit, which I'm super duper excited about. If you guys have not picked up your mystery kit, I'm not sure if the August one will still be available when you see this video. Possibly, just because um, I'm a crazy person. So I literally posted like an hour long haul like two days ago and I already have enough things to probably do another haul um so yeah go check her out she's got tons of great stuff tons of kits tons of icons um and these scripts I'm picking I'm definitely gonna pick up more sorry Vicky for making you do all the work but <laughs> I love me some custom scripts so that is all for this haul part and I will see you guys in the next one Hi guys, so I do have another haul part for you. Um, these I've all bought from D Stashes, but I just wanted to maybe show you them really quick. Um, so it's all Simply Gilded Washi. <laughs> I have jumped on that bag bandwagon apparently, and let me tell you, it is not a cheap obsession. <laughs> so these I've all bought from a D Stash um, because <sighs> shipping is a million bajillion dollars from the US to Australia and the exchange rate is not very good so um it's less stressful for me to buy them from a D stash um mostly because like they're already in Australia so I don't have to worry about them getting here even though sometimes I've noticed especially with these brand new ones which I don't quite I don't really mind but sometimes the prices are like, even though they're a D-Stash item, they're probably about the same as, like, cost plus shipping from America, to be honest. Um, although, like, most people are selling, like, this set for $10, so. Or I think some the more popular ones or the sort after ones are, like, $15 for the set. And like I said, like, it's definitely a lot less stress for me knowing they're coming from an ad address that's already in Australia rather than um, importing them so I do have more coming as well so I just have got this green one with gold bows and I have it in all three I am trying to pick up um they're really really rare and sought after but like the perforated headers those rolls because I would definitely use them the most so I have all three sizes of that color uh, I also have no idea what any of the colours are called. And then I also have this one, which I did use in my most recent B6 spread. So it's like this um, taupe colour with gold bows. And this is... I'm just going to compare them. I think this is hot gold and this is champagne gold, but I'm not 100% sure. They usually don't list them like on the D stash with what the colors actually are, unfortunately. But um, so this is like a maroon color. I haven't used this one, so it's still in the packaging. And I got both sets, and it's got the gold bows as well. And then I have this one, which is like I think it's a hot pink foil on white. And these ones are still in their packaging as well. And then I I didn't um I couldn't. Um, so like how the D-Stash group works is like the seller like posts it and then you have to like really quickly ninja fingers comment sold. 
So I didn't get to pick up the 30 millimeter of this, but I have the 15 and it's like a really pretty pale pink with gold bows. So I think this one will be really useful for me. I'm hoping. And then lastly, I just have, oh, that's a sticker. Um, I just have this purple with rose gold. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's get this. I'm pretty sure this is rose gold. Yeah, it's definitely rose gold. You can see there. And it's like a lilac -y purple. And I got both of those. Yeah, so that is all I have at the moment. My little washi stash. Um, and I do definitely have more coming. I'm really excited. I'm kind of really excited. I know this is like a rabbit hole that I'm going to fall down immediately. <laughs> Simply Gilded Washi, but I don't know. That's all I have anyway from this small portion of the haul. Alrighty, so welcome back to the next part of I Can't Stop Spending My Money on Stickers. So this is also another new to me shop and she does like custom vinyls. Um, so it's from Rose and Crafts on Etsy. I'll just <laughs> sneak that in there. Um, and I picked up my name in like a bunch of vinyls and like I got I'll just show you she does include like how to actually apply them which I will need because I have never applied vinyls before um, and they were pretty cheap like I wanted some to like put on my planner and to keep for when my cloud like finally arrives <laughs> Um, and like use in setups. So I picked up two black ones and I picked up two, I think she called, yeah, she called this color peach. Um, so they're peach and then this one is lilac and then I have pink holographic uh, and blue holographic and silver so she does have a ton of colors and these ones so I bought the ones that were seven centimeters she does them like in prices by how many centimeters across um, you're having and she does like a million fonts and like I've never bought vinyls before so I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure they were like real cheap like I'm pretty sure like one was like three dollars so that's why I picked up a gazillion um I'm also wanting to put uh, I don't have it in the room with me but on my study planner I want to put like whoops <laughs> maybe a pink one or a black one um and they're meant to be I just moved away from the camera they're meant to be removable too so that's really exciting so I can like obviously it probably wouldn't save the vinyl but it would save whatever surface you're putting it on so yeah that is what I have from Rose and Crafts on Etsy okay so I have another order in this one is from Fox and Cactus um this what are I know um, I follow I'm so bad at remember remembering shop names. I think it might be on this thank you card. Uh, or maybe not. But the owner of Fox and Cactus, um, I think she had some kind of like health emergency, so it took her a little while to send out my order, but like not even very long, like like she's posting, like she posted all over Instagram and Facebook and everything about how like orders were going to be de delayed because she had a health emergency. Um, I think it might have only been delayed like another like two or three days. Like it's still shipped out really, really fast in comparison to the other shops I buy from, which is amazing. And she threw in um, <laughs> these holographic stickers to all the orders that were delayed and I think she said she was going to send it in the next 100 as well I have no idea what I'm going to do with this I don't think it matches like my style but I just love <laughs> doing this and I'll just yeah I'll peel back this 
and show you that side like oh my god I'm becoming a sucker for hollow so I got him and then this is the July freebie I love this pineapple I would buy a whole sheet, sheet of them but like I would have no idea what I would use it for but I love him <laughs> and this is super cute too the cat on the laundry my cat um his name is lemonade and he's still like a kitten like he's I think he's six months old now he loves sitting in clean laundry and dirty laundry he thinks it's his bed anyway he's ginger though so if they had ginger this that would be my cap so I mainly went in to order like these food stickers because I've I really like marking like when I have takeout I love using like the particular food sticker so I often get a salad from the subway so there's salads and then this is pizza and they're really small like they're all the size of like a quarter box which is perfect um, so this is pizza and you get the option of vegetarian which is this because I am vegetarian or you get the option of a meat one which I think is all just pepperoni so I kind of like having the variation anyway and then I got sushi. I love sushi. I go to the sushi train all the time. And then I got like sub sandwiches. Again, like I have this thing about fast food where like I have like trash fast fast food, which I would consider like McDonald's or Homie Jacks. And then I have fast food where I like feel like I'm actually eating real food. And like that would be like Subway or like GYG. I feel like Tell me if you understand what I'm talking about, about like real food versus like fake food or like trash food. And then I have like little McDonald's fry boxes and tuckers and burritos and nachos and chicken nuggets. Again, like I don't eat chicken nuggets, but I eat KFC chips. So if I got KFC, I would use little nugget boxes and burgers. Oh my god, they're so cute, and like I'm pretty sure there are more foods. So I might go pick them up again. Pick or well, pick up more foods, more different foods. And I would say they may be like a business card size. So if your storage has like business card size, or like they're really close to like freebie size. Like most freebies are like this is a little bit smaller, but most freebies are like this size or this size. So if you have like a freebie folder, they would fit like perfectly, and they're just so cute. But yeah, tell me if you know what you mean when I say, like, Subway feels like real food. Or, like, Zamboro or GYG feels like real food. Like, it feels like you're eating, like, something with a new, some, like, a little bit of nutrition. And then, like, Macca's feels like fake food. Anyway, moving on. I also picked up these, like, breakfast date stickers. And they're so cute. They're, like, little bacon and eggs with a face. I'm also, like, a sucker. I can't remember, there's like one shop that I follow on Instagram and they're either in like America or UK, like they're not in Australia. And they have like little burgers that have like cat faces on them, like they have cat ears and cat faces. So like I'm a fully like a sucker for like food with faces and they're all like, so it's like tea and toast and coffee and a muffin and oh, they're really big. So I'd maybe say it would take up a half box, more than a half box. But that's fine because they're so cute. Again, this is a sheet that like I bought and like I probably will never use it, but it's just too cute. And then I picked up like a sheet of mixed food. Um, so there's the same. So, so that would be like the meat pizza. That would be the full sheet if you got the meat pizza. So it has some of the same ones that I picked up, but then it also has some extra ones because I thought like. I don't go out for, um, like, I think this is a steak, so, like, I don't go out for steak, but if I went to, like, the Barbarian or something, and they do salads, so I would have a salad, but it would make more sense if I marked it with a steak. The Barbarian's, like, a German restaurant. Oh, maybe, like, a German, like, bar that does food also in the city. Oh, there's, like, a hot cross bun. Oh, I think this is meant to be, like, avocado toast. So yeah, there's some things, and like fruit salad and pasta, like I might pick up the pasta because I love Italian food. So there's some things that like I wouldn't use often, but like I just wanted to have. Then I got zombie coffee. <laughs> yeah, 
self-explanatory. <laughs> and I got these Coloured Hair Girls on a laptop. I cannot go past laptop girls and I cannot go past Coloured Hair Girls. So win-win. And then I got Happy Mail. I'm not sure what any of the girls are called. I just picked random ones. I did used to be like, I would always pick the blonde hair girl because I have blonde hair, but now I just kind of like pick randomly. And like, I think I might have picked this girl because she's got a pink shirt. She's got kind of like almond hair, but I think this is like her original character. And then I picked up hair washing. And I find it really funny that this is like, a grumpy hair washing girl like I don't think I've ever looked like that when I've been washing my hair and then I picked up so I picked up these two in the same so they're just like car carrying a giant stack of books I'm pretty sure I picked this one up because she's like wears a black shirt and this one because she wears a white shirt neither of these is what I look like but I feel like they would have blended into spreads the best um and then this is the journaling card which is cute. I love fruits with faces. Again, I love fruits with faces. Yeah, so that is what I got from Fox and Cactus from their website. Okay, so I have another haul part. This is from a new to me shop, Secure Mochi Design Co. Um, she had, she, I think she was participating in, um, like a group sale. So I picked up a good amount of stuff. I've been eyeing off, um, bits and pieces from this shop for a while. Um, and when I saw she was in the sale, I was like, it's a great time to buy. So this is from... Um, she designs her, all her own stickers herself, and it's primarily this, like, kawaii character. So these were freebies from the sale, if you spend over a certain amount. So this is just, like, a, um, die cut, and then I got these freebies. I think there was, like, one more higher tier, but, um... Like, this is every single thing I wanted. <laughs> so, and it wasn't a freebie because I am a super sucker for, like, if there's tiered freebies, I'm like, I have to spend that much to get all the freebies. But, so yeah, these are the three freebies I got. And I'm pretty sure these were sale exclusive freebies. And then they came packaged in, like, these little like, backing cards. So that's really cute. Um... So I just got one, yeah, I'll just leave it in there, just one of these. So this is what she calls, like, her adult. It's, like, her adult character. Like, the other ones are meant to be more cute, I guess, and these is grown up, I think. She doesn't have very many of this character, so I'm not sure if it's, like, a retiring character or a newer character, but I just got, like, the study time one. And they're all, like, <laughs> super stressed, and there's two sizes on a sheet is good so that is a bigger sheet and then all these other sheets are a little, just a little bit smaller I'm just gonna move the camera okay I think that's better yeah so that's that one and then she um sorry I'm just gonna move the camera again <laughs> um she has a lot of like study stickers and I fully think that so I have two and a bit years left of my degree and I fully think that I'm never gonna fin gonna run out of study stickers, but I keep buying them. But I'm gonna be a teacher, so I guess I could use them to mark work or marking or whatever. So first one I got is this binge watching one. So you've got two different designs on the sheet and they're really nicely sized. Like these would be cute with um, in, a, in a half box. Things would be nice in a quarter box. And I got Sleepy. I think this one in the box is so cute. Um, they'd be good to mark naps. I take a nap pretty much every day. I've got these guys with headphones and the YouTube symbol. And then a similar idea. 
similar idea with um, the Instagram kind of logo, the older one. Um, I will say that you don't get... Oh, these ones are okay, but these ones you don't get that many on a sheet. And I think they were... Actually, I have my invoice here, so I don't tell fibs. Oh, but it doesn't say. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think they were maybe like $3 a sheet, which isn't too bad. Like, it's a similar price to Fox and Cactus, I think. But more expensive than some other stores that I buy from. But they're really, really cute. And they are hand-drawn, so this is her own art. It's all original art, so you will not find this anywhere else. And then I got this studying one. <laughs> this is me. This is me. <laughs> I fully begrudged um, doing, like, readings. Because, <laughs> um, like, I'm a like a math science student prim primarily, but then I do have to do like education subjects, which are, <laughs> there's a lot of reading compared to my other subjects. So I got this one, which is called teaching. And it is to me, like in the background, it seems like, uh, this one anyway is a maths teacher. I'm just, um, that one might be an English teacher, but to me, it looked like math and science. So then I have Let's Shop, I've got Petrol Pump, I think this character looks really like a ghost to me, which is super cute, I don't know what it's meant to be, oh. this is Washing Clothes, Happy Mail, Angry, I'm never angry, like I might use it to mark if I was like, like I used an angry face to mark, um, when I found out about the people not quarantining and spreading COVID on Queensland. Like, I wasn't angry, but maybe cranky is the right word if I have a cranky day or if customers are making me cranky. Then I have another sleeping one. Again, marking naps. Then I've got schooling, which these would be cute to mark, like when I go on placement. And then I have graduation. I'm not sure how many graduations I'll actually be going to. Once I'm a teacher, um, I'll probably be going to more than I would as a student, but I will at the very least be going to my own graduation. Yeah, so that is what I have from Secure Mochi Design Co. And she does have her own website, or I do believe she is also on Etsy as well. All right. Okay, so I have another haul part this time from Planet Beautiful. Um, this I ordered quite a while ago, just before she closed her shop, in knowing that it would take a while to get to me. Um, she had just released some more of these $2 Tuesday mini sheets, which I adore. And... They've just arrived, so it's almost September, and this is the July freebie. She will hopefully be reopening soon. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think she mentioned this, but some of the other shop owners I follow did mention that they had trouble getting sticker paper because um, of COVID reasons. I don't think um, I, she didn't say why she was closing. She just said, "Oh, we're gonna close," and kind of. Um, renovate the shop and then reopen in September. So that'll be soon. So keep an eye out. You'll be able to pick these up soon. Hopefully <laughs> I'm hoping that these are still in her shop because this is the prime, like the main product that I buy from her. So first I just have these. These are the, the laptop ones I use the most because I use them to mark both like studying and then sometimes like binge watching and sometimes online shopping. So they're multi-use ones. I do a lot on the computer. So I have, so this girl's called Snow White and she's like white and grey and then this girl's called Sweet Peach and she's the pink one. There's also a blue one which I don't have any of this time round and a purple one. She did also, let's do them last, she came, so this is her purple one, Fairy Floss, and I got one of all of them because when I first picked up this colorway I didn't 
um, grab all of them. I just grabbed like, I think the couple of most used ones. So I just grabbed all of them to have because, um, say like, I probably, I don't use these ones as much, but they're good to have. So these are laundry. And so this is like the pinky purple one and like cleaning and laptops and like temper tantrum one and the tired one and the hair washing one and planning she's got like little ovals on here that's really cute and happy mail all right so that's all the different ones i think there's eight that you can get and she does light skin tone and dark skin tone i just picked up the light skin tone ones because <laughs> i'm light skin tone and then she brought these out in I think the end of June for Pride. They're like rainbow colored ones. They call she calls her color Fetty. I have no idea how or when I'm going to use these, but I like supporting um shops that do like Pride stuff. I didn't pick up much in from people that did Black Lives Matter, but mostly that was because they weren't in Australia. And when I buy things from overseas, I have to, like, keep in mind, first of all, the conversion rate, which is usually, like, two to one. So, like, one Australian dollar is, no. Two American dollars is one Australian dollar. And the same, it's the same with, like, pounds and euros and stuff. So they're more expensive. And they'll take, like, three months to get here at the moment. So I, I usually don't buy from overseas stores, but she had these for pride. So I've got hair washing. So you can really see the rainbow there. Like, I don't know <laughs> when I would use these. Maybe if I do a pride spread for next year, I would use them. If it features like the really bright colors. I don't know. I just kind of like having them. I think they're cool. And, and again, I like supporting anybody that has those kind of items and happy mail and planning you can see like she changes the colors of the clothes too and cleaning and laundry i like on this one how she's kept the laptop really neutral there you go okay, so that is my very small long-awaited order from planet beautiful Okay, guys, so I think this will be the last haul part. Um, I have an order from Sinister Designs. This actually came, like, real quick. Um, I will say that. And I don't think I paid for express shipping. So she is on Etsy, um, but she also has her own website now. I have a feeling that these journaling cards, she, like, got a billion of them made because I've been getting exactly the same one since the start of this year, which is fine. Like, I understand why store owners do that. But she has her own website now. Is it on her freebie? No, but if you just... It's Sinister Designs. I think it might be .com.au. Um, so I picked up some Milo's. This is the freebie, by the way. This would have been the August freebie, I think. So that's cute. I like this painting one. Milo. Um, what was I going to say about this shop? Yeah, it came really quick because she's in Western Australia um, and I'm in Queensland. And I guess it maybe helps that the WA bought, like Australia, um, not Australia, Queensland hasn't closed their borders to WA. I'm only saying this because I ordered um, from Planet Goddess Studio. And I paid for express shipping and like the tracking says that it, they like received it last week, Friday, and it's now Wednesday of the following week. And like express shipping used to be overnight, like I would have gotten it Monday. Um, and I think it might have something to do with like which states Queensland had its borders shut to or something. I don't know, but this order came really fast. <laughs> Um, so I've got just Milo's, like, emotions. So there's some bad emotions down here, and then some happy ones at the top. I have a feeling I already have this sheet, but I got another one. It's, like, the binge watching with popcorn. And then I just got, like, the... the <laughs> tired, I think? I would use this for tired, anyway. 
and I got the teaching ones because I am starting to be a teacher and I got pizza so I really love um the, the character from Sinister Designs I know um it's kind of basic but I think he's really cute and because of his colorings he goes well with every spread I also did pick up a couple of kits let's do this one first I did just use this same art um in my planner from Vintage Paper Studio, Vintage Planner, Vintage Planner Studio, but um, so you did it kind of different. It's like more muted. Lots of it is the same. Um, like this box, this scene is the same. I have a feeling like the artist didn't give you that many different options for like boxes. Um, I probably won't use this one for a while, but I did really like it. Oh, pardon me, hiccups. <laughs> um, so I did pick it up. And I do really like the formats of our kits. Um, my one complaint is that there's no... There's not very many um, boxes and they're all patterned. But that's fine. I pull in all the time plain half and quarter boxes from my stash. That is why I have a stash. <laughs> but the kits are really pretty. And I always get the full kit because you get this page as like a freebie extra and it's so you get the four options for the tour girls um so what i usually do is i put one in my sidebar and then when i go to use this in my b6 because i use leftovers in my b6 i'll use like two of the other girls and i also use these small checklists in my b6 so that works well for me so this is i think she also does she might do two sizes and then a la carte. So you can pick all these pages up a la carte. But you get like a better deal when you do the full kit. And I like the full kits anyway. I will say this like nails was not in the Vintage Planner Studio one. And I love it. I'm not sure if it's from like a different kit or something. But beautiful. And the Vintage Planner Studio didn't have the girl. I think. But it had like more like. It had the same scene and like these. A lot of the boxes are the same. And then on this page you get a couple of like big Milo's. I'll just show you comparatively to like her normal sheet. So they're more like half box rather than quarter box size. And they're just like both planner. I think one's I have another one's planner related. And then some larger size deco. Date numbers and bottom washi. I will say I'll probably never have to buy a set of date numbers. The black and white ones anyway because Lots of the kits I get use them, and I usually use um, foil date numbers because I like to foil kits in my memory planner. So this page you get a weekend banner, which is cut out. So it's versatile to use in different planners. You guys see it's cut out. Um, and then your date covers, and then um, so you do actually get a really good number of half and quarter boxes. Um, but they are all patterned and I don't, I like to like have some plain ones so it doesn't look too busy. busy. I will say that these ones are, because of the colours I think maybe and the solderness of the patterns, they're not too bad. And then these, which I use in my memory planner. And then this is the only other da downside to Sinister Design Kits is she gives you like, the word headers are fine. I use them in my memory planner. But like the, the decorative headers, you only get four of each kind. So you have to use, if I was to do 21 headers, which is the top of each box in my memory planner, I have to use all of them. And I just find like having so many different colors and patterns makes it look kind of busy. Again, I do have stickers in my stash and it does not stop me buying the kits. But I do, I will just mention that like you don't get a full set of glitter headers. If you do just like the ones across the top and then the ones across. Yeah, if you just do the ones across the top, you have tons. And then these are flagged at the bottom of these checklists. Again, I use these in my memory planner. And then this page is icons, weekly boxes, build use, and habit trackers. I actually don't use as many habit trackers as I used to either. Um, it means I'm not doing well with my daily habits but like I always forget to take my vitamins 
So maybe I should start using Happy Trackers again. And then, oh, this kit. Okay. I have not seen... Please tell me other shops that have used this art because I will pretty much pick up any kit using this art. The girls are beautiful, especially, oh my god, like, I want to look like this. <laughs> She's so beautiful, her dress is so beautiful. Loving it. So, and the colours, I love how it's just like greens and greys, it's just so beautiful to me. If anybody else has done this art, let me know. That's the same, I'll give you a little sneak actually, like the sunflower art. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know which art I'm talking about, but I'll just show you like the toolboxes because it's a sinister design kit too. Uh, actually, I might show you the full boxes. I think I saw it. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm, the, I'm a sucker for plant kits, anything with plants in it. And then like this art, like the sunflowers. Um. I'm about to pick up <laughs> a Planet Goddess Studio kit with the same art. And then, and, like, anytime I see that art, I'm like, oh my god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> so, that's the same thing that would happen with this art. If anybody else is using this art, in, especially in an Australian store, tell me. I'm snap it up. Because I just, oh my god, the plants. I'm a bad plant mother. I only kill, like, I kill plants. Cactus I could probably do, but I have pets, so it's dangerous. Like, oh, I just, I'm love, in love with this kit, this double box. Oh my god, I, the couches I have before my current ones looked like this. Oh my god, and this bottom washi, I love how, I love the pops of yellow. I love how it's just like a plain pattern. It would look really good, like, chopped in half with some Simply Gilded. And then same format, so date numbers, deco. Oh my god, the terrarium. Where is that? Oh, I got missed out of the full boxes, but oh my god. Oh my god. Kill me now. I <laughs> know. <laughs> and I love the pattern in the day covers too. Oh, it's so pretty. The colors are so pretty. We just look. It's like a green, a greeny gray, and like a, a bluey gray. Oh so pretty okay this is probably a kit i'm gonna hoard forever and never use and just like look at when i'm sad because <laughs> it's so beautiful anyway so this will be the last part for my haul i like had this stuff stashed away by stashed away i mean on my desk um and i was putting together my haul and i was like mm, it's not really long enough it could be longer and i have more stuff so I might as well just film these little bits and put it together so I will thank you all guys for watching now um suffering through my haul I guess there will definitely be another one coming I think I said it at the end of every haul I still have like five orders to come in um including my cloud so there will be another one probably I'm trying to I'll, I'll try to limit it to one for September so thank you guys for making it this far. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. This final part was from Sinister Designs. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.